$5,000 in the um, 2014-15 year budget, and that would include not only the software purchase, the new module, that would include any hardware, any licenses we needed to purchase, that should be the entire thing. Um, so staff is requesting that the board approve um, an appropriation from retained earnings in the trash fund allocation of the liquid waste funds contingency. Uh, a couple of questions. questions. Are, is this amount been budgeted for this next year? No, that's we're asking for the appropriation because it was not included in the, the new year budget. And then um, are we in a hurry to get purchases? Yes, we are. Um, as soon as the contract is signed, then Springbrook will schedule us for the upgrade. We are going to um, try and put in for the upgrade in the fall so that we have everything upgraded before the new fiscal year when Microsoft doesn't support our platform anymore. And it's after we do our assessments in the summer. So it's kind of a good window, but we need to get our contract signed and on the board before now. Could, could we wait one month just for curiosity to we make a decision on spending the money? Because, you know, we have some other financial things popping up. Um, the Orange County Sanitation District. Sure. I, I think, I, Mr. Um, Director and Board and um, Board of Presidents, I think this is important to, to act on. It's only because we're, we're losing support from Springbrook because the system is so in, out, outdated. So we're not getting the support we needed from Springbrook, and that's, and that's having an impact on, on Wendy and her staff. So it, I, I believe it's important that we, we – um, I know it's, 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 a, it's a lot, but it's, again, as Wendy said, it's, it's less than what – the other vendor substantially less. Um, I don't think you're going to find any other um, software that's going to be less than what we're proposing tonight. Yeah, that, that wasn't my concern. No, I think Springbrook is fine. It's just that we haven't discussed how we're going to accumulate the money we're going to need to pay Orange County Sanitation District. And I thought we should have that discussion I, first. You know, Director Perry, I, I agree with you. We, we've, got, we've got to be careful about you know, approaching that, that issue. But this is something that we just got to do. I, I agree. I agree. You know, we, we got to find the money to do this. I mean, it's day to day operations, and uh, we're not going to be efficient at all if we continue to use, uh, you know, uh, the system that's not backed up by. Uh, no, I, I agree 100%. Just the, I'm just curious of the timing of it. If but I may, the, the largest portion of this is going to come from the sewer fund, and there's 200000 in contingency in the sewer fund. So the retained yeah. earnings is in the trash fund, and we are working down on the trash fund um, excess reserves. So if that helps make it seem a little more palatable. Explain that again. Do we have more money in the trash fund? Well, we didn't increase our trash rates um, mm -hmm. because we're working down on our, our reserves mm -hmm. to get them lower. So this portion of this will come from the trash reserves, retained earnings, and in the sewer fund, there is a $200,000 contingency budget already, so we would just transfer a portion of that to cover this would it be appropriation. 50 /50? You know, I'm honestly I'm not sure what the, the um, percentage. percentage is. I would need to look at the account that we're going to purchase it at. Um, most likely, it would be because they equally benefit that with the assessment charges. Right. Well. Um, I I think we have probably about five million dollars in reserves in both funds, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it's probably money well spent, and yeah. I would like to make a motion to to, to move, move the item, move the staff's recommendation. No, the motion. Discussion. Arlene, did you have a comment? Yeah, just discussion. You know, we've always done Springbrook. It seems like we've always, and so I wondered if that's part of the bidding that they, they gave us a break because we've always been their customer. They did. Essentially, the the difference in the mm -hmm. cost is the conversion of our prior or older data mm -hmm. to the new software. So that's yeah. pretty much 50% of ENCODE's cost, whereas Springbrook, we didn't have that because they don't have to point all the data to new fields in it. So, and when we initially bought the software, we didn't have any data coming from the city mm -hmm. of Costa Mesa, so we were a blank slate, so it was inexpensive, relatively <coughs> expensive at that time. So that's pretty much the difference in the cost. 
Uh, it's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Okay, thank you. Rewarding Ideas Program, item 12. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this recommendation is for uh, Brandon Joseph, our maintenance worker one uh, employee, and he came up with the idea of, um, of relocating one of our portable generators to from Mendoza pump station to President pump stations to improve our efficiency time, our response time when that, when that pump station or if that pump station uh, uh, fails due to a power outage. Um, in your agenda packet, I, I showed you an aerial picture of where that mm -hmm. station is located, and you can see that long alley, and it has like a 90 degree turn. There's no lights there. Um, I think Steve, Steve Connell told me that when one day in this, might have been a while ago because he said it was raining, <laughs> he said, mm -hmm. uh, but he said it probably took him at least an hour to back that thing in there because he couldn't see it was so dark. So um, Brandon's idea was to um, have the portable generous station at that, at that station at all time. So when that pump station does, or if it does go down a power edge, all staff has to do is grab the cables, go over there and hook it up in a matter of minutes. So it would definitely improve our efficiency time, and that's why I'm recommending him um, a ruin idea of $100. I'll move for approval. Second. Uh, discussion? Yeah, yeah. Any discussion? Yeah. <laughs> 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 do you have a choice? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, what I was wondering was, isn't it Steve who did that... Uh, You know, I think he should get something because I'll tell you, I've been at these places and those you kids. You played just it at the fish fry for an hour. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Strike that. <laughs> anyway, you know, it, it's really going over big. I mean, this is why people come over and they drag the parents with them. They don't have a choice because I think it's so neat. And I, I could see kind of rewarding him in some way to give him one. And I know, you know, I mean, I'm just. He'd have to this present special. this to you. Staff. Yeah, so I'm I just can, saying. I can respond. It, he did, and, and we all agree it's a, it's, it's a phenomenal job what he did, but it didn't meet the criteria in, the, in, oh, in, in the policy, and that's oh. why I had to say no. But um, other than that, I mean, I recognize, yeah, it's, it's phenomenal what he did, <laughs> it's, it's great for the organization, it just didn't meet the criteria. Uh, okay. Hello, sorry, Liz. <laughs> well, I've, I've been to this station, and, um, and I agree with staff 100%. Uh, I'm one. Um, I didn't read in there that you know that they would have to take the cords along and do that. Is, is there any way? I guess staff researched whether they this is the station is going to be abandoned hopefully in a few years. So is that why they have to take the cords? Well, we, that means they still have to visit the station. Yes, they still have to go. They still have to because it's not it's not an automatic switch. They still got to turn the, the, the they still got to hook it up and turn on the the, the generator. The reason why we have the cable um, or the yard is is just for. To keep it out of the weather elements, we wanted we wanted to uh, keep it stored in, in the yard and, and protect it under the weather elements. So that's why we, we we're storing it over there. They still have to take fuel to the station in the worst emergencies. If 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 that was on for a long period of time, yes. But the generator will will have, will have fuel in it. Yeah, this station is very. You know, um, I went with one of the staff. <laughs> it was it was amazing how difficult it was to get in there. So yeah. <coughs> I, I'd move staff's approval. I'd move approval. Of Staff's recommendation for. Uh, well, I'd like to redo it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been well, a, it's, it's been about three <laughs> minutes. It's, <laughs> it's been moved and seconded twice. Uh, yeah. Any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Abstain. Motion carries. Item 13: General Manager Performance Evaluation. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. And, and what I would like to do for this point is, is kind of go for a, a six-step six process on, on how I'm, I'm, what I'm proposing. Uh, the, the first step is, is really to talk about the 2013 goals and achievements. And, and the reason why I wanted to do this in open session is really to, to demonstrate to, to you and to, and to the public um, not, only, not only the goals that I achieved, but also, as she's done an attachment, the achievements the organization achieved in 2013. Uh, uh, attached behind my goals are all, all the achievements. And, and I think it's quite extraordinary. I mean, every every time, you know, like this past past week, when I was telling people, yeah, we service 116,000 people, and I only have a little over a dozen staff. People's jaws drop because they can't believe what we 
on what we do. So I wanted to, to demonstrate that um, uh, to the board. And, and so the first step is really to, to is if you have any comments or suggestions, to talk about the goals of, of 2013 and, and the achievements. The second step is is to um, direct um, President Fairman and possibly maybe another board member uh, to discuss uh, my evaluation and, and using that by by using this this form, which um, I obtained from the conference I just attended to. So this was some recommendations that um, they suggested how to um, evaluate the board, uh, evaluate your general manager, and and so um, <coughs> my suggestion is you know maybe have that kind of, kind of an evaluation committee. I, I know like uh, uh, Director Uden, when he was president, he wrote out um, an evaluation for me. So I really clearly understood what, where my, my performance was in the past, where I stood now, where you want me to improve in the future. Um, it's also a good time, maybe during that, that period, is to establish uh, my goals for 2014, which, which I know I think some board members have, have been talking about it. But I also have um, some of my suggestions um, for, for some goals um, to, to consider. Um, so that's, that's step two. Um, then step three, um, and I'll call this evaluation, if you want to go this route, have another board member assist um, President Fairman. If they believe that um, my performance uh, met board's expectations, then um, we can possibly discuss a, a salary adjustment. And then on then step four, would be on July 24th, which is your next um, board meeting, we would have a closed session, and, and I suggest we, we do that before the meeting, maybe at 4.30, uh, to discuss the evaluation committee's findings um, based on, on that form that I gave you along with uh, proposed goals and um, any proposed salary adjustment. And during that closed session, that's where the board can also um, make any additional changes or recommendations to the evaluation form or, and to the goals. Um, and then step five would be the board would come out of that closed session to report in the open session um, your findings of my evaluation and inform the public of any salary adjustment. And then step six, the district council would, would draft an amendment uh, to my agreement and present it to the board in an open meeting session. So, so those are the, 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 step, the six step process I'm, I'm suggesting and um, that will open up for any, any comments or suggestions. Board has, have we ever had two people review? No. It's just one, just the president usually? Typically, yeah, typically in the past it's always been the, the board has directed the president to sit down with, with me and we go over my evaluation. Um, you know, we're all in agreements. Um, we go over the salary adjustment, and then the president presents that to the board in a closed session, and the board talks about it together as a group, and then he makes some additional it, suggestions. It might be wise then that the vice president be the second person, just true. because that would give him background for the f next year. Mm -hmm. Sure. And then that would be a good process if if that's we if we decide to do it. Yeah. That's the, again, that's I just this an idea I'm just throwing out there. Absolutely. And if I could just give some legal guidance on yes, that, Mr. President, the, uh, there's about three three points to keep in mind. You can do the performance goals and achievements uh, for the manager in closed session, but there's certainly nothing wrong with doing it in open session. Uh, but you do have the authority under the Duval case to do that in closed session. Um, you can evaluate the manager in closed session under the performance uh, exception and can meet with the manager in closed session to do that. But when it comes to setting compensation, you must meet in closed session by yourself with the manager outside the closed session and then give authority to one of your members, usually the president, to then negotiate with the manager and reach an agreement on compensation. And then there's a public announcement made and a contract drawn up. But prior to coming to an agreement, uh, the, the vice, vice president could participate? In yes. Yes, you can uh, work on his evaluation and kick around some numbers, certainly. Could that all be accomplished by the next board meeting or not? Well, it, certainly it could. I, you know, it's kind of an ambitious schedule, but yeah, certainly, that's, that's yeah. I was thinking it might be pretty ambitious. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Oh, I just had 13 goals to add to whatever. You can give that to Jim. They're just in writing, so I have a people need it. We should probably make that part of the minute, shouldn't we? Or is that part of the, uh, oh, look, I guess that's part of the, why don't you hold on to that until the um, closed session? Oh. Yeah, otherwise we need to make it public. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. I mean, that, okay, that make it public? All right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's Let's why make I it my, part of the record then. Yeah, that's okay. why my 2000 we should, we should read them, correct? We yeah, should. we either read it in the record or Xerox it and make it part of the minutes. This is pretty lengthy. No, it is. We, so. could, we could Xerox it. 
It's not very long. Right? Do you want me to read it? I, I give him 13. 11. Oh, you have Fairman. 11. Oh, the, yeah. Director Rutten has 11 goals. I have 13. My recommendation is Xerox these two and put it in the record. <laughs> <laughs> because those will be given to the, if we have two representatives, those will be given for three. Yeah. yeah. Do you mind? These, these are, these, so these goals, we would, we would, I would sit down with the president and vice president and we look okay. at which ones yeah. are right. agreeable yeah. and feasible. Yeah. This is so. in the final, final. Yeah. Yeah. Just then, input. Then yeah. we'd have to look at last year's goals and see. And, and, I, and I've already had that in your agenda packet, yeah. so that's that's in there right now. Yeah. Well, I think Scott said he doesn't sit on the president's team. Yeah. 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 General manager, um, he, he may um, uh, be interested in, um, you know, the verbiage and an explanation of that and the modification. session uh, for the board uh, for kind of my performance evaluation where you'll you'll share um, all the, the potential goals to discuss uh, with me. So are we going to decide that today? Why don't you, uh, is there a, a need for the, uh, the the subcommittee? Because in, yeah. as long as we all no, have not to. not necessarily. I, no, no. I, so then why don't we just set a special meeting yeah. right away for yeah. an evaluation and for goals and get yeah. all of that done sure. in one meeting? Sure. It just seems like yeah. it's more efficient. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what, you have to check our link schedule too because she's work, yeah. you're working. I, as of the 11th, and I'm working. So we can do it before the 11th. So if we can do it before we do The it. sooner the better yeah. for the president. Yeah, exactly. That way. And, then and after vice that, president. Mondays and Tuesdays, I'm off at least. Um, yeah, I'd like to be present too because there's a lot of uh, yeah. the technicalities yeah. Yeah. and how you go in and out of these things. Yeah. So. How about, uh, when do you start? The uh, 11th. How about the 8th, uh, Tuesday? That's a good one. Is that, Is that okay? good for you? Mm -hmm. Could we do it at night? Or? Concert in the uh, park you know, night? Yeah, we don't have a line scope. <coughs> but concert in the park is. It's 5.30. I mean, yeah. could we, are you busy doing mornings? Yes. Yeah. That's good. Well, what about Monday, the 7th? I'm open. Is that good for them? I'm, I'm open. I'm fine. 
Okay, let's make it the seventh then. Are on you Monday. okay, Bob? Well, I'm if I learn to use this calendar. <laughs> is that, is that yeah, what yeah. What time yeah. would that be? What time is best for I'm you? I'm open all day. I mean, during the morning too. Yes. I want to make it like a nine o'clock. That would be better for me. That's fine. Okay. Seven, nine. Nets. So I'm sorry. What time is it going to be at? Nine. Is that good for everybody? Yeah. On the seven. We don't know about Mike, do we? No, we don't. We'll have to confirm with Mike. He's usually open. usually he doesn't like to do it on Mondays because he doesn't. Because of his secretary, but I think he has a different secretary now. Oh. So, Monday well, the only seven. day I know he can't do is Thursday. He plays right. golf. So Monday, okay, yeah. at nine, and that would be nine. here. Yes. And that was, is that a closed session? Yes. Okay. Yes. You can always, any, if you want to do any part of an open session, you can always do that. Well, yeah. Okay. Let's make sure we have a closed session on. Yeah, that's, that's smart. And I'll work with uh, Nolani to set up the at end spot. We're going to have all these goals given to We're going to have, yeah, we're going to talk about everything. Okay. So we'll, we'll okay. try and make as much progress as we can. Okay. Goals, okay. evaluation, maybe even a little salary discussion mm -hmm. if we can. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, everybody got that? Yeah. Got Thank you. Good. Thank you. You just have to let Mike know what's yes. happening. Yes. Let's move along. Um, engineer's report. Uh, project status report. Are you happy to answer any questions? Any questions of uh, Rob? I guess there's no problems out there. Oh, uh, none at all. <laughs> Bob? Well, I, I, have we started on the grade four? Grade fours? Grade, uh, actually, we have. We are televising some of them. To stay ahead of okay. uh, city project, but the real design starts in earnest in the next fiscal year, which is right around the corner. Okay. You know, uh, while, while um, we're talking about uh, project project status reports, I don't know if this is an appropriate time to bring up that uh, meeting that you know, we had with Orange County Sanitation District uh, in regards to the abandonment. West Side. Uh, I saw the numbers on that report, and I mean, I'm pretty motivated to address this thing ASAP and make plans to figure out how we're going to finance this. And I, we need to have a, a special meeting uh, as soon as possible, as far as I'm concerned, because it's going to it can affect other things during this year. I mean, we may have to put off something to uh, be able to put the money away that we're going to have to put, put away on this project. Uh, I, I was approached by uh, the uh, Orange County Sanitation's uh, head guy uh, yet last night, and uh, I assured him, I said, we're going forward with this. We're not hiccuping. Uh, we're going to plan for it, and whatever it takes, is we're going to make it happen. So. Uh, but we, we have to prepare for this, and, and uh, it's probably it's uh, it's probably a good idea maybe to have a special meeting on this item because I know you might recall on under July session I won't be here I'll be down in San Diego um, uh, with EEC on a um, GIS conference that yeah, they're right. that they're going to be touting our GIS so they want to be down there so um, it'll probably be good to have a special meeting so we could just focus on then Rob and I can um, talk about what we we discussed with OCSD and. And some of the some of the financial impacts. Do so you do you have numbers? Oh, yeah. 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 Um, well, well yeah, rough so numbers. I have rough numbers. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I do. What are those rough numbers? You know, uh, in millions. I know. I know that. <laughs> How much? Two million. Uh, what, do you remember? Uh, little. It's it was. Well, let's put it this way. It's more than a million and less than two million. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I thought. I thought it was close <laughs> yeah. to two million. Yeah. Rob. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, after the meeting, basically, what we're talking about here. costs by actually constructing a line in a street. It, it's it's kind of crazy to think that a line in a street could actually be cheaper than a line in dirt out in the park. So 
That is possible. The way it penciled out, it, well, what, first of all, what Scott was saying was we're a little over one acre of disturbed land. And according to OCSD, their number of $500,000 an acre, I'm sorry, a half okay. acre for restoration would mean that our cost would be another million dollars. According to the numbers, what I did was move the sewer line here, there, and everywhere, and uh, potentially save $400,000. But we did the, this real fast, and it was done after the meeting, and I didn't know the subject was going to come up. I was going to present yeah. it to Scott yeah. tomorrow yeah. while we have yeah. our one-on-one. -on -one. So it's, a, it's possible that uh, we, we significantly decreased that number, but it, it definitely will take a little more But there's, some, there's maintenance money in there, too, isn't mm -hmm. there? Three years of maintenance. Yeah. You have to at least budget. Which is yeah. fairly significant. Right. Yeah, we don't, and we, don't, well, we still got to work the on those numbers, right, too. The maintenance money is, it, it, it's in there, but it's not in the 500000 right, right. And the other thing is that I'm not so sure that the restoration cost for the city's canyon park, which we're in, will be the same as the Talbert Regional. A special study session? I, I, I still want a special study session. No, I, I agree that we should have that. Uh, I'm just explaining some things from my research yeah. that we had that uh, not in July, then to give you more time to be prepared for that front. Well, that's possible, but maybe we should just put on the table what we know right away. You know, if you yeah. were, I, I, I wouldn't be opposed to. That will be in San Diego on July 15th. And if you change the date of the study session, we could be there. We still have a study session. And there's a conflicting meeting that Bobby and I attend at City Development Review Committee. So neither of us would mind if that should be scheduled that day. That's possible. To still have a study session. My, my, my suggestion, yeah, I, I, my only thing is, you know, we, we um, I, I, I'm okay with a study session, just pick a, pick a date, and, you know, Rob and I will, will, will be there, um, but I like to, you know, our, our study session meetings and our board meetings, we, we make it um, on, on those days for the public, so when we start mixing up those dates, then I think we get ourselves in trouble, so I'd rather keep the study session on the 15th, even though I won't be here, I think staff can handle or anything else, but on this particular issue, um, a special meeting will be, will be just fine. I suggest we have it on the 15th and ask Scott not to go to San Diego. You know, I think this is a substantially more important issue than him being present you know, um, for a GIS discussion at a conference. It's your call. I mean, if you want me to stay here, I'll, I'll, I'll tell the ECA I'm the board's director to stay on the 15th. I mean, yeah, I, I it's your Aren't you sweet? A matter of a little bit, yeah. A couple of days. A couple of days isn't going to kill anybody. Or a separate meeting. Separate. Right. Separate. So separate. Separate. Yeah. Separate. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just we'll schedule a separate meeting. Yeah. Okay. You know. there you go. Yeah. And I'd, I'd like to be in, in July because I'm going to be gone a substantial amount of time in August. Yeah, but I am too. It, it, what point is my thing? We can throw out some dates and, and uh, uh, make it happen. Um, it's, it's, well, they, well, there will be, um, they do want us to sign an agreement, um, so there, there's that aspects of, uh, of that we will use your assistance on that. But right now, I think uh, the board's wants to look at the numbers and what's going to take for budgeting. Okay. 
Send you a reminder. This would be good practice. Okay. Okay, so we're all set on uh, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. We're all set on those dates. I'm no, I can't be there. What's that? I cannot be there. I was told that uh, it's not a legal issue, but I should review the contract first. So I'll I'll endeavor to. Contract first and get you some information. Because we're not going to make any decisions. We have to discuss it. No, and I'll, I'll do a memo to the board and staff about okay. if there's legal issues you need to be concerned about. Okay, Thank you. Uh, okay let's move along. Uh, you know, Mr. President, would be would it be appropriate and Scott and Rob to give a brief update on back pay since we haven't told the board and maybe you guys have about where we're at with that. Would so, that be alright? Sure. One of our ongoing projects. Uh, everything's moving along nicely, as a matter of fact. The uh, agreement has been approved by the Back Bay Center, their, their LLC. That agreement is okay with their attorney. The agreement is okay with the lender's attorney. And they've asked us to open escrow, meaning let's put the money in escrow, sign and record the agreement and give them the money. So they're ready for that. The plans for the installation of the generator have been through first check and be gone. And we're waiting now for the gas company to give us their comments as to how we're going to there's gas right next to where the generator so we know fortunately but we have to hear back from the gas company as to how, how gas is going to be plugged into the generator. So that's really the only unknown at this time, but we're moving ahead along those lines, so, uh, so far so good. Do we get any kind of uh, title insurance or, I don't know, it's kind of an odd thing, but we did do not get title insurance. Well, you know, we paid money for the right to right. build them, and I don't know technically, Alan, you can just well, I do. We, we are getting for that, and, and all the rights that are in the agreement, which Alan is some major but, arm wrestling. Yeah, but memorialize it. They, if they the turned out property. that they didn't own the property or something, I guess it could be a problem, but Did, we, we did think about it. We didn't think it was necessary. You know. yeah. hope, hope we're not wrong on that, but we just thought it was <coughs> extra money we didn't have yeah. to spend. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, not a bad question. Thank you. Uh, any other comments on that? Uh, Treasurer's report. Thanks, Mr. President. Board members, uh, this item is a resolution before you that would adopt your investment policy for the 2014 year and delegate the investment function to the treasurer. Just by way of refresher, um, the responsibility for placing the investments does rest with you as the board. Uh, the government code does give you the option to delegate that function for a one-year period only to uh, the treasurer, and you have done that uh, uh, in years <coughs> past. This resolution uh, would continue that practice. Also attached to the uh, staff report is the investment policy itself, including the red line version of the policy, so you can easily see what the changes were from the prior fiscal year. 
uh, very, very few changes in the, in the policy itself, only just a clarification on insurance requirements on certificates of deposit. With that, I'm available for any questions you have. Any questions? Discussion? Further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carried. Uh, attorney's report. Only that at the last week's uh, city attorney's lunch was, was about the Public Records Act and private uh, devices and whether or not they were public records and that type records or not. I had the pleasure to sit at the on the last seat because I came in late while the presentation was going on. I sit, sat next to a former colleague of yours, director, former director Fitzpatrick, who was at the city attorney's lunch, uh, sitting at a chair. <laughs> with the uh, Everyone else in the room was the city attorney. And uh, <laughs> we looked at each other. We said, Jim, Alan? Uh, he said he was... Don't worry, it'll be on his blog next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said he was there because he's going to be a presenter on something about marijuana. stories to add to the group and sat there quietly the whole time. It was one of those, they, one of those uh, surreal moments when I was looking across and thinking, why do I know you? <laughs> you? You don't look like you should be here, but I know you. <laughs> I did. You'll find out where you are. Okay. Hey. You'll tell me later. Local meetings. Uh, Orange County Sanitation meeting took place last night. Uh, we approved the uh, budget. Also, uh, uh, I had the baton passed from Troy uh, Edgar as chairman, and uh, the new chairman is not English from uh, Mojave. Wonderful guy, uh, who's a Southern uh, California Edison manager for many years, and he's retired now. Very knowledgeable. <laughs> oh, he also honored Jim Silva and Steve Anderson. He won that walk of fame for the Florida Town. I was there for that. He was in the time. He was in the time. He was in the
of ironic because about a week after our meeting, she came out with a piece of news came out in the news article about the effect of earthquakes and earthquakes in the crowds.
which um, his doc uh, decided, I, I'm sure you all know by now, to endorse me, which was a big thing. It was great. <coughs> so they got out to other cities, uh, other areas, and chapters, and talked to them. And then I just received this in the mail, which is, uh, this is a real plug for uh, San Bernardino Valley. <coughs> San Bernardino Valley Municipal Water District Board of Directors unanimously approved a vote for Arlene Schaefer <coughs> for the California Special District Association. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> this vote was based on Mrs. Schaefer's extensive CSDA board experience and commitment to the principles of transparent uh, city of government. We endorse Mrs. Schaefer and candidacy to CSDA board and encourage you to vote for her for Region 6 seat. C C C and that was a big plum getting that, too. Um, oh, sorry. What is that? It's a cup cup, sir. Really oh. good. I really oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I usually about the Coast of Mesa Light and City of the oh. District and Water Reserve Light is on here. Oh, I did. Yeah, because. I had six here, so I didn't say anything on it, you know. Um, and we had that meeting on the Lantern, which we all got to talk because it was noticed. So we were very late on that. And, um, but most of my work has been now on this uh, Region 6 because this is a big thing, whether I make it or I don't make it. Um, I do a lot of uh, extensive trying to get Los Angeles and San Bernardino and, you know, um, San Diego, and I guess my uh, incumbent is really working hard, too. And so, but I'm racking up some good votes, and so August 1st is the deadline, and we'll know what's happened then. So that's it. Thank okay, you. thank you. Uh, any other views? Uh, Okay, old business, new business. Um, one item. Uh, I, I think it's time for us probably to review our policy on trash cans. Um, you know, I've been noticing we've been um, much, much more aggressive with our <coughs> recent code enforcement officer. And I believe this policy was probably put together, and the city I think has a similar policy. I'd be interested in knowing city's policy is. Um, Doesn't the policy or the ordinance? Well, it, it, whatever guides their code enforcement people. Um, what I'd like, the reason I want to review it is uh, uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily in concurrence with the more aggressive, uh, the recent more aggressive code enforcement guy, and we're bringing on potential guy that probably be just as aggressive. The, the reason I want the policy reviewed is this policy was created when we had trash cans that, you know, you, you could put out anything you wanted at the curb, people would pick them up. We didn't have automated service. Uh, we have green cans now. Um, you know, they, they blend in more. Um, and I, 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 want, I, I want to review that policy because uh, them need the trash cans needing to be out of view is less important to me. With out of red can, blue can, green can, pink can, you know, and a metal can and whatever. That, that was the reason why we enacted this policy. We 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 got new trash cans uh, in '06, I believe. This board approved new cans. And it was for the beautification of the city. And it was mainly, I think, uh, in Dan Worthington's eyes, and I let the board members <coughs> speak for themselves. But the reason I think that that policy came about was because of it, 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 the city looked like a, you know, basically a litter. Um, it, it was just littered with various colors and sizes and types of cans, you know, before we, had, we got our, our present automated <coughs> can system and a single colored can system. You know, I go by and I see uh, the green cans not necessarily put behind the fence, 
And that doesn't bother me as much as um, the reason why I believe the board went to the new standardized can, single color can. And so I'd just like to go back and revisit the trial scene and see, see if other jurisdictions that have a similar, see if we're in line with the other jurisdictions. We may well be. It may still be important that the policy be just like it is, but I'd like to uh, review it. Especially in light of uh, you know, our more aggressive stance on uh, um, hand, you know, handing out uh, up to and including citations, I was I was the person that pushed having citations, but it was not for this, uh, not for this, uh, not not for this reason. I can go back and think why 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 it was. I believe, no, I, know, I remember. I, we were having trouble with uh, EEC uh, giving us timely information on fog violations. And so we had that overflow. And so I wanted them to have a stick. I wanted them to have some more, a bigger stick in order to make the food service establishment pony up or pay for them. EEC have to go back and back and back. You know, we have a contract with EEC, and, and they go, they just go back, you know, to the food and service establishment, and they talk to them, and they go back to them, and they didn't get compliant, and they didn't get compliant. And that's why um, you know, I, I asked for um, there, to, there to be this finding policy. Javier, um, in fact, just had a meeting with um, the Belt and Service staff um, uh, last uh, Monday or Tuesday on, on this issue, and, they, and we're continuing to have a discussion with their staff. Um, it, it's actually was a good, good meeting. Um, it, it's funny because <coughs> that that department really doesn't know much about trash, and and so we invited them to come here and give them trash 101, describing what is, what is alternative to cover means, why are we in this program, what what what's the impact on organics. So we're going to have that discussion with them. Um, but uh, we, we are having those open dialogues with staff and with their staff and we'll continue to have them and we'll, we'll keep you current on how the dates and those who's going to have those discussions. Yes, yeah, it, it has that. Yeah, yeah it, went, it went well, yeah, it went well. Um, well, you like to come back, I'd like to do that in a study session and kind of bring back what, what we had in those meetings and, and where we go from there. I think Rob, Rob did a really good job um, sure. uh, explaining that to to uh, Brad Zinn. Um, I am I Javier and I do have a meeting with him on Monday. I think to talk about the trash issues.